Hi, I'm Rob from Midwest Equipment. Today we're going to go over the process of how to clean, disassemble, uh, reassemble, lube, everything, put this machine back together. It's a C712. Uh, and we'll start with draining out all the product that's in it. It's already got product that's frozen down. Uh, we're going to go through draining the process down. Uh, start by putting it in wash mode. We're going to take it out of our freeze mode here. We'll put it in wash mode. Wash mode just allows the barrel to spin around. There's no refrigeration happening at this point. Uh, that way we get the product out without trying to freeze the product that's coming in. So I start by opening the valve and letting the frozen product out. It's gonna start off as frozen product. Uh, this is a pump machine, so we wanna make sure that we relieve this pressure in the barrel before we disassemble the uh, pump feed tube on the top up here. Uh, so once this kind of stops, we're gonna leave this valve open open up this feed tube up here. So now we're down to pure liquid. Alright, so now that we've kind of relieved the pressure in the barrel, now it's safe to remove the pin out of the feed tube. I'll push that pin right in there just for safekeeping. And slowly pull this out. If we don't relieve the pressure on the barrel first, this will actually shoot to the ceiling. Cause a huge mess. Now we can continue to drain out here. It might take a minute for it to catch back up here. By taking the feed tube out, it's gonna make it a lot faster to drain the barrel out. So we pull the feed tube out, it's gonna make it come out a lot faster. So we'll start off with a full pure ice cream. Uh, it's gonna get a little thinner and thinner as we go, and eventually it'll be all mix. All right, so now we're getting down to the bottom of the barrel here, so to speak. Um, I like to hit the pump up here once just to pump mix it in the pump out of it. Pump button there and pump that out and then stop. That way it clears out the pump. Alright, so before we start cleaning everything and disassembling everything, these are the parts we're gonna need to assemble uh, prior to our cleaning the air brush kit. Uh, should consist of our barrel brush here, some miscellaneous brushes for taking apart the pump. Uh, I've got some here for doing the draw valves, uh, the feed tube holes. There's a bunch of them in here. We'll go ahead and go through those as we take it apart and clean it. So, uh, we're going to need some sanitizer and we go to put everything back together, do our sanitation process. Uh, might need a tune up kit if it's time to do our tune up, which we should be doing every three months. Uh, also, new blades, also every three months. We're going to need our tailor lube. This is the only thing we're going to use to lube up all our o rings and bushings and stuff. It's 100% food grade, it's safe to eat. Uh, you can put it on a sandwich, brush your teeth with it. I don't really recommend that, but you can do it. Wouldn't hurt anything. And also we need our draw, our, um, our pry bar here to get the drive shaft out of the pump motor. And we need a bucket. And obviously when we put it back together, we're gonna need mix to make our product. So after we've drained out everything out of the hopper and barrel, we're gonna pour in approximately two gallons of water into the hopper. Slowly. And after we fill the hopper, we can use the bucket to pour some of these parts into our feed tube out. And we're going to disassemble the pump here. I'm going to pull the little handle off of there. I'm just going to pull this straight out. I'm just going to stick that whole thing in the bucket for now. So now that we've got the water in the hopper, we're going to put it back in wash mode our wash button here, the little faucet. Okay, it's gonna let the barrel spin around again. No refrigeration's happening at this point. So we're gonna take our brush, we're gonna scrub the sides, drag some water up there if you need to. We'll get back in the little crevices back here. Just gonna wipe everything down. Now we've scrubbed the sides here of the walls. We're gonna drain the water out. We have to do this two or three times to get the water. We want the water fairly clear coming out of here. That's where we know it's got an all-in-looking crane inside the barrel and our hopper is fairly clean. 